Bounce Cards, my name is Hartz and welcome back to Factorio. And today we will tackle some upgrades, some better tools, uh, some better, well, maybe not tools, the, the, the tools or armor and so on. We did that last time. Um, today it's more about machines and uh, things we also need and uh, the first thing here is the next level of the assembly machines and these require the, the lower level but also speed modules and we can build speed modules here here we have everything um, we need only red and green and then this here that and that will not work um let's set a filter here grab everything out of it and a bit of power and that's that and the other thing we want to have here is the blue underground uh, we well I I don't plan to to build anything with uh, with blue belts but having blue underground is beneficial because it's a bit longer than the, the red one and especially if we have situations like here where we have belt weaving you need to have two different belts so the undergrounds don't mix up and if input or output uh, on, a, on a yellow belt which has 15 items per second is not fast enough then we need to have the combination of uh, red and blue so for blue we almost have everything here but we need lubricant so let's see from where we can steal a lubricant station I'm thinking Placing it down here. Um, there. There we have one. That should be good enough. Connect that up. And then here we need the connection here we have the trap and then we don't have access to to this one here so I think what we will do is Something there to basically bypass um, the red undergrounds, and here we can have the blue ones. There, um, we need gears. lubricant you can now bring in from this side and of course not enough underground pipes but that should do 
Kuya and then we need output chest. Actually, we need this one here. I think two stacks should be, sh should be sufficient and then let's request um, 50 of those as well. So that should sort itself out um, once we have lubricant here. Um, currently the lubricant trains are uh, waiting on the unloading station. So it might take a while because lubricant is usually not something that we have in, in high amounts. And the next thing uh, we want to have is there are different levels of uh, electric trains because for normal trains you can get speed up by uh, using a, a higher tier of fuel uh, so going from coal to solid fuel to uh, rocket fuel or even uh, uranium nuclear fuel um, that will give you a, a speed boost uh, you don't have that with the electric trains there you have different engines so here we need uh, red circuits low density structures we have that uh, down there uh, electric motors we have that over there so it's just bringing things together and we need to build the red circuits if we look further ahead then we also need blue circuits for the last level so i'm thinking we need maybe something like this There we need to have copper. Bring that along here. To bring it to there. And then here. Here, here, that's where we get iron. Punch that off here. And then we have a bit of uh, spaghetti. That gives us uh, the more green circuits and then we can have a bit of uh, this going on here on top. One is for the 
belts for the for the copper wires. Um, let's have the station here, and then on here. Let's just add it here on the other side. Let's not do it up there. We have that there on top. So let's do it that way. Belts come from below. Let's do it that way, and here we can siphon off the uh, green ones. Bring that back over to here. that we should have everything that we need so let's make a bit of room here for the next tier and the last tier so then we can just find everything through and we need the electric motors and the, uh, and the underground the, the low density structures. The density structures we bring around here. Then this one. Let's bring that. Then there's a question, can make it that way? This works. we can we can do um ooh, yeah we can do it that way right 
then we need red here and the blue there so red is this one we need to grab a bit of that bring it down here Input. And then one output chest there. What is those? And here we don't have a logistic port. Just grab one. And also some logistic robots. And there it is. We will place it here in the middle Add those and everything should be happy um, here we can replace this also with one of these and there we also have the batteries If we do that, we can actually double the output uh, of the uh, of the wire production, and that should help um, with, uh, with the amount of uh, red circuits that we produce. If we only have the belt until where we need it that will also be good right then um, then now here I can finally say give me five of these and it will take a while um, can add these in there Motors, they will definitely slow the things down at least for the moment <coughs> but it's we don't need that many uh, locomotives uh, uh, over over the run um, oh, oh, it's, oh yeah here we don't still don't have a train coming so uh, let's just send that one ahead because up here we actually have enough uh, lubricants we don't need any more and uh, we can can be good with that um, while I'm here I also want to add These ones, I think 50 should be enough. They're being crafted. And now also the, uh, the blue undergrounds are being crafted. But that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, tune in next time when we will maybe 
use some of the sense that uh, we set up factories today. Alright, until then, goodbye!